Hey guys, welcome to the next installment of Things I Don't Teach You in School. Today we're going to be looking at the importance of sleep. And I'll tell you what, it is far more important than what you think. So let's go down this rabbit hole and find out why. You know lack of sleep can make you grumpy and foggy. You know what it can do to your sex life, memory, health, looks and even ability to lose weight. Now I'm going to go through 10 surprising and serious effects of sleep loss. So the first one we've got here, sleep will cause accidents. It has and it will. Sleep def deprivation was a factor in some of the biggest disasters in recent history. The 1979 nuclear accident at Three Mile Island, the massive Exxon Valdez oil spill, the 1986 nuclear meltdown at Chernobyl and others. But sleep loss is also a big public safety hazard every day on the roads. Drowsiness can slow down reaction time as much as drink driving does. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that fatigue is a cause of 100,000 auto crashes and 1,500 crash-related deaths each year in the US. The problem is greater among people under 25 years old. I use the US stats because there's far more studies done on it. These studies show that sleep loss and poor quality sleep also lead to accidents and injuries on the job. In one study, workers who complained about excessive daytime sleepiness had significantly more work accidents, particularly repeated work accidents. They also had more sick days. Lack of sleep will dumb you down. Sleep plays a critical role in thinking and learning. Lack of sleep hurts these cognitive processes in many ways. First, it impairs attention, alertness, concentration, reasoning, and problem solving. This makes it far more difficult to learn efficiently. Second, during the night, various sleep cycles play a role in consolidating memories in the mind. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to remember what you learnt and experienced during the day. Number three, sleep deprivation can lead to serious health problems. Sleep disorders and chronic sleep loss can put you at risk for heart disease, heart attack, heart failure, irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, stroke, and diabetes. According to some estimates, 90% of people with insomnia, a sleep disorder characterized by trouble of falling asleep and staying asleep, will also have other health conditions involved. Lack of sleep will kill your sex drive. Sleep specialists say, that sleep deprived men and women report lower libidos and less interest in sex. Depleted energy, sleepiness and increased tension may also be largely to blame. For men with sleep apnea, a respiratory problem that interrupts sleep, there may be another factor for the sexual slump. A study published by the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2002 suggested that men with sleep apnea also have low testosterone levels. In the study, nearly half of the men who suffered from severe sleep apnea also have abnormally low levels of testosterone during the night. Sleepiness is depressing. Over time, lack of sleep and sleep disorders can contribute to the symptoms of depression. In a 2005 sleep poll in America, people who were diagnosed with depression or anxiety were more likely to sleep less than six hours a night. The most common sleep disorder, insomnia, had the strongest link to depression. In 2007, study of 10,000 people, those with insomnia were five times as likely to develop depression as those without. In fact, insomnia is often one of the first symptoms of depression. Insomnia and depression feed off each other. Sleep loss often aggravates the symptoms of depression, and depression can make it more difficult to fall asleep. On the positive side, Treating sleep problems can help depression and its symptoms, and vice versa. Number six, lack of sleep will age your skin severely. Most people have experienced sallow skin and puffy eyes after a few nights of missed sleep, but it turns out that chronic sleep loss can lead to lackluster skin, fine lines, and dark circles under the eyes. When you don't get enough sleep, your body releases more of the stress hormone cortisol in excess amounts. Cortisol can break down the skin's collagen, the protein which can keep skin smooth and elastic. Sleep loss also causes the body to release too little human growth hormone, 
When you're young, human growth hormone promotes growth. As we age, it helps increase muscle mass, thicken skin and strengthen bones. Number seven, being tired will make you forgetful. Trying to keep your memory sharp? Try getting plenty of sleep. In 2009, American and French researchers determined that brain events called sharp wave ripples are responsible for consolidating memories. The ripples also transfer learned information from the hippocampus to the neocortex of the brain, where long-term memories are stored. Sharp wave ripples occur mostly during the deepest levels of sleep. Number eight, if you don't sleep, you're gonna have trouble losing weight, guys, big time. When it comes to body weight, it may be that if you snooze, you lose. Lack of sleep seems to be related to an increase in hunger and appetite, and possibly to obesity. According to a 2004 study, people who sleep less than six hours a day were almost 30% more likely to become obese than those who slept seven to the nine recommended hours. Recent research has focused on the link between sleep and the peptides that regulate appetite. Ghrelin stimulates hunger and leptin signals satiety to the brain and suppresses appetite. Not only does sleep loss appear to stimulate appetite, it also stimulates cravings for high fat, high carbohydrate foods. Ongoing studies are considering whether adequate sleep should be a standard part of a weight loss program. Number nine, lack of sleep may increase risk of death. In the Whitehall 2 study, British researchers looked how sleep patterns affected the mortality of more than 10,000 British civil servants over two decades. The results published in a 2007 showed that those who had cut their sleep from seven to five hours or fewer a night nearly doubled their risk of death of all causes. In particular, lack of sleep doubled the risk of death from cardiovascular disease. Number 10, sleep loss impairs judgment, especially about sleep. Lack of sleep can affect our interpretation of events. It hurts our ability to make sound judgments because we may not assess situations accurately and act on them wisely. Sleep deprived people seem to be especially prone to poor judgment when it comes to assessing what lack of sleep is doing to them. In our increasingly fast paced world, functioning on less sleep has become a kind of badge of honor. But sleep specialists say if you think you're doing fine on less sleep, you're probably wrong. And if you work in a profession where it's important to be able to judge your level of functioning, this could be a huge problem. And here's some extra facts about the importance of sleep itself. There's two stages of sleep, non-REM, which is rapid eye movement, and that divides into stages one, two, three, and four, and then you have REM sleep, or also known as dream sleep. It's important that not just quantity, but also the quality of your sleep. And excessive drinking makes it hard to go into REM sleep, as it's a sedative, which isn't a natural sleep. Delirium trends come from the brain bringing the dream state through to the woke brain. You'll often hear about this from people which excessively drink. Seven to nine hours of sleep a night is needed. For example, less than seven can be measured in an objective competence. For men, five to six hours, testosterone levels drop to a person 10 years your senior. Without sleep, your mind will hallucinate become paranoid, you'll become psychotic, delusional, and disorientated. In REM sleep, your prefrontal cortex shuts down. This is your logical system, and this is why your dreams aren't logical. Within the last 100 years, we have removed 20% of our sleep. A good night's sleep will improve your motor skills as well, of up to 20 to 30% better than the day before. So you could say sleep is a performance enhancing drug. Also lactic acid builds up quicker when you are without sleep and you're more likely for injury. The invasion of light has destroyed our sleep. It's destroyed our melatonin levels, which is the hormone for darkness and it tells your body to go to sleep. Another thing you should do is put down the phone and turn off the lights. If you are having a hard time sleeping, there's three things you can do. Number one, have a regular sleep pattern. So the same time going to sleep and getting up. This will put your body clock into full swing here.
Number two, light, screens, and an hour before, put down everything which shines a light, like laptops, iPads, iPhones. If you want to read a book, read a hard book. Number three, keep cool. The brain needs to be cool for a good sleep. You'll sleep faster and deeper. And even having a hot bath, the blood will rush to the surface of your skin and the core temperature drops. So your post pre dial dip, also known as 3 p.m. drowsiness, it's a real thing, it's natural, and it's not showing you that you're tired. So a shorter sleep equals shorter life. Counterintuitive, I know, but disruption of sleep is now stated as a carcinogenic. Yes, it can go towards cancer. We are also the only animals that forcibly reduce our sleep. Power naps are okay for a short term, but for, day, for a day's worth of sleep, long-term sleep is needed. It's just think of it this way that it's not a credit card account where you can not have sleep and then pay it back in little bits. You need the deep sleep. So from all this information and studies, why are we told sleep is this important? It will literally kill you if you do not have it. So have in between seven and nine hours, turn off the tech before and have a regular pattern. I know life can be hard and you might have to study or work so you're not going to get the complete seven nine hours but try the best you can because it's detrimental to your health and possibly in an accident other people's health so that's it for the importance of sleep if you've enjoyed this please stay tuned for the next one enjoy yourselves and sleep